Crowdsourcing and crowdfunding may have begun as a way for startups to get going, but increasingly established brands in the fashion industry are turning to sites like Kickstarter to draw in consumers and raise some cash for new projects. Here with the story is WSJ fashion columnist Christina Binkley and Jay Peterman, the founder of Jay Peterman, the 90s fashion retailer, also immortalized as Elaine's boss on Seinfeld. Welcome to both of you. Christina, let me start with you. Christina, how are fashion companies primarily using these crowdsourcing sites to try out new items before they mass produce? Yeah, um, and even before that, they're using them to get ideas as well. And this whole idea of crowdfunding and crowdsourcing is this is the concept of getting the mass of public to give you ideas, to give you money, to vote for which products they like. It's like a gigantic focus group. Fantastic. Now, John, we want to know what exactly happened to your company after its 90s heyday and all of those Seinfeld episodes. How is it doing now? It's doing fine. Uh, after the, the heydays, obviously, we went bankrupt and uh, we were, somebody bought us out of bankruptcy and then they failed. So I just bought back the brand and uh, restarted the company in 2001. And uh, we've been uh, not quite as rapidly as the first time, but still growing the company. So tell us about your current Kickstarter campaign. What is the goal? The goal is uh, several fold. Uh, number one, money is a goal. Uh, anytime you have a growing company, you always need money. Uh, number two, though, is that when we started the J. Peterman Company in our heyday, our customers were uh, 40, 45, probably a medium age of 45 years old. And what we're looking at uh, today is the Kickstarter uh, crowd being in that uh, sweet spot for us and really with the same needs and wants as uh, uh, as our original customers had. Our original customers are now 75 and 80. Right. So now you're going for that younger crowd. Absolutely. Makes sense. Now, Christina, are other brands using Kickstarter to find new investors and actually raise money the way Jay Peterman is? Yeah, and this is actually pretty cool, Tanya. They, um, I kind of associate Kickstarter with with newbie companies that don't have any cash, and uh, and you know, there's Jay Peterman, of course. Timberland, the outdoor wear company, has been using. Uh, it's not Kickstarter; they're using another platform, um, and they're testing a, a sort of combination sneaker hiking boot, um, a whole bunch of different styles that they've been ha testing out there and getting consumers to like, advise them and everything about whether they should have a platform heel or or a, or a regular heel. All kinds of details on that. Right. They're using a platform by a company called Beta Brand, which um, you may have heard of horizontal corduroys. They're famous for their for their cord around pants, all kinds of quirky, fun, funny um, uh, outfits that they also test uh, on, on their crowdfunding site. So interesting. Now, John, how is your Kickstarter campaign going so far? And will you consider it a success, even if you don't make your goal of $500,000 by May 20th? Sure. Here I am on uh, your show. Yeah. Here I am on Fortune Magazine. Good point. Good point. You're getting the word out. So getting the word out is one. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, that's fine. We'll go back and do it again. Uh, uh, I've never done anything right the first time I've done it, so I have great persistence. That sounds great. Now, Christina, what makes these sites more useful to brands than focus groups? I mean, do they directly result in sales? Well, they do in some cases. And pre-sales, you know, people are, are pledging on Kickstarter um, money way in advance of when they might receive a product if they ever receive a product. So this isn't this isn't shopping. This is sort of voting for, for the future. But also these companies, when they're getting ideas like this, they really are. It's a, it's a beta brand calls their um, crowdsourcing thing a think tank. And it really is like that. You're getting a broad swath of the public to vote on something and guide you as you create it. Is that how the dress pant yoga pant came to be? 
Yes. Aren't you dying to wear those? I, I want to wear those right now. I wish I was wearing them at this moment. <laughs> that is exactly. It literally started with a sketch on a post-it note that they put on their think tag site and they, people worked it through. It's now one of their best-selling items. They've sold $14 million worth of dress pant yoga pants. Amazing. That is the item of the moment. Now, John, tell us a little bit about your relationship with John O'Hurley. He makes another appearance as you in your Kickstarter campaign ad. Are you two friends? Quite. Uh, John and I became friends shortly after he appeared on Seinfeld. And we just <laughs> stayed friends over 20 years. He's a great proponent of the urban sombrero. And I've resisted it greatly for many years because it was a fake product. It had no authenticity. But now after 20 years of of resting around, uh, uh, it's gained some authenticity and become a part of pop culture. I think it's great. Can we buy the Urban Sombrero on your site or only if the Kickstarter campaign is successful? Only at the Kickstarter campaign. All right, that just might make me contribute right there. <laughs> Jay Peterman and Christina Binkley, thanks to both of you so much for joining us. Pleasure.